<laughs> Go ahead, Will. Uh, turn the camera on yourself right now. Turn the camera on yourself. Turn it around. Hold on. I gotta take it off. Earring protection. What? What are you doing already, bud? I'm ready. I'm locked and loaded. You're locked and loaded with what? My mic on? Yeah. All right, folks. Welcome back Hold to on. another one. Restart. I gotta. This is all going in. This is an uncut hair version. What's up, folks? Your lens is super dirty, by the way. They're probably gonna be pissed at you for that, Will. <laughs> Anyways, today we're back here with a little turkey gun action. Check this baby out. Bam! Vortex Viper Venom. Venom. The Vortex Venom 3 MOA Red Dot. Big Red Dot guy now. I have to say it. Uh, I've been hearing some awesome things about Red Dot on the turkey gun. Figured I had to try it for myself, so went out and uh, picked up myself a nice red dot from Vortex because they're awesome. This is the 3OM MOA version. Uh, there's also a 6 MOA version. Um, for me, I have an astigmatism, so I like the smaller dot. It helps a little bit better. Uh, so today we're gonna go ahead and not really pattern the gun, but I'm gonna go ahead and sight it in. So um, I originally was gonna have this gun drilled and tapped. This is a Winchester SX4. It did not come drilled and tapped, so I was gonna have it drilled and tapped, but it ended up costing I think it was like a hundred something bucks to have it done and uh, I ended up finding the saddle mount for it online for I think 50 bucks maybe so I figured this way I could take it on and off wouldn't have to drill nothing would just be easier so 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 far it works pretty good it looks sweet so yeah we're gonna go ahead and sight this in um, the manual says 25 yards to, to get it sighted in but I've already kind of uh, I haven't bore sighted it but I've you can look through and kind of line it up with the barrel and everything else so uh, we're gonna go ahead and shoot 35 yards and see where we're at. Uh, I've got a bunch of miscellaneous turkey ammo to shoot today. So as we're shooting, we're gonna be pattern testing, I guess, but everyone shoots the best I'm gonna use. So without further ado, let's get a couple rounds down range. You ready, Will? Let's do it. All right. All right. Ready? Oh, I know there's going to be a lot of hate for the no lead sled and all that stuff. Listen, I don't really care. If I was setting in a rifle or something, yeah, I'm just shooting the shotgun. I'm going to get it close and dialed and whatever. This is good enough for me. All right. Ready, Will? Yep. Let's go see. Not bad. Maybe, so like I guess in the comparison here, this is about my two foot circle. So maybe I need to come to the right a couple clicks. Maybe like two inches to the right. Actually, that looks that looks pretty good, I think. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, that's not that bad. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, we'll shoot another one. All right, so they give you a little adjustment tool here. So the MOA adjustments, I believe it's at 50 yards is a half inch per click. So I'm gonna go two inches, so four clicks. Okay, four clicks to the right. We'll see what that does. Yep. All right, our next shot is a three inch Remington Nitro Turkey, number five. All right, you ready? Looks pretty good. This would be all the bigger pellets. Yeah, that seems a little bit high, doesn't it? So all these smaller ones are number sixes from the other shot, and then these bigger ones here are gonna be from that Remington Nitro Turkey. I think a little bit to the left and a little high. That shot was a little high. I don't think this first shot was high. No, yeah. I that could have just been me.
Alright. Alright, so uh, we just swapped the paper. Oh man, unfortunately now I'm going to be... This is the ammo I think I'm going to hunt with. Uh, is the Winchester Longbeard XR. These are three and a halfs, and I'm not looking forward to it. Two ounce, five shots. So I'm going to go ahead and put one of them down range and see where we're at. And uh, I do want to know if anybody uses a red dot for waterfowl hunting, leave a comment down below. I'm curious to see if anyone else does that. I have uh, I definitely want to try it. I think it would be cool. Um just because you can see the whole bird and everything like that. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Oh my goodness. These are going to hurt. These are going to hurt. Oh. All right. 35 yards, Winchester Longbeard XR, three and a half, number five. What'd you think? What? What'd you think? I think I shot left. How to feel? Not, that, it wasn't horrible. I held the gun pretty tight. So I gotta come down a little bit, I think. Down and still to the right. Dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's 35 yards. Man, I wonder if the wad like stuck on the shot or something. That's crazy. Backwards like that? Ready, Will? Yep. Knocked it over. Oh, those three and a half pack of punch. I put that second round in, for those of you that are probably gonna ask. It helps with the recoil system, so it doesn't doesn't come back and recoil as hard. Versus when on your third shot, let's say, or if you only put one in the chamber, the bolt will lock back. You're going to absorb all that uh, recoil versus if it were to rack another round, you kind of have a little bit less of it. Still high? Still high, but we looked a little bit more centered here now. Maybe a little bit more to the right, just a little bit. And we still have to come down. So I'm gonna spin this. We'll shoot another one, see what happens. Ready, Will? Yep. I think that's uh, pretty good. I mean, I aimed probably right here. This is where I was aiming, I think. I mean, I don't know, maybe if that was a turkey's head, I would have missed it, but our shot definitely looks a little bit more centered here, I would say. Yeah, I'm gonna call that pretty good. That's 35 yards. It looks like we're dialed in, so. I'd love to keep shooting, but ammo's hard to get. It's freaking crazy expensive, so uh, I think I'm gonna call that good for this turkey season. And if I swing and a miss on a big old long beard, it'll be Will's fault. <laughs> you got anything to say, Willie? It's always my fault. Yeah, it is. You gotta have somebody to blame it on, mm, right? Yeah. All right, guys. That's the uh, the red dot for you. Um, next time you'll see that, we'll be out in the field turkey hunting probably. And yeah, you got any closing thoughts, Will? Hey, actually, I have something to say. So we have a podcast we've been doing uh we haven't released any episodes yet we're still working on a name uh but we've been banking the episodes uh that'll be released sometime this year we're not exactly sure when yet probably soon i would think but uh 
we're pretty excited about it. We have a lot of good stories. It's kind of more behind the scenes of our lives here and uh, kind of you get to meet a lot of our friends and different things. So we're excited to bring that to you guys. So be on the lookout. Um, we'll probably announce at some point on the channel when our first episode is going to air. But uh, for now, we're going to keep hitting it hard and, and getting getting the podcasts while we can. And uh, we can't wait to share them with you. So we'll close it out. Final thoughts. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap this one up here. Um, as always, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy our content, we ask that you share it with somebody else. I mean, obviously, we don't make any money off of this. So the more that you can share it to somebody, even just one person, it really helps uh, support the channel. Yeah. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.